Welcome to my channel and Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. We're into May and I have chosen my favourite colours, which is this sea blue. And I've also chosen what bird I'm going to put on, which is going to be a peacock. So if you've watched the VR I did for Susan, you'll have seen me chatting about why I'm choosing a peacock. So go over and watch that. I'll link it up at the top. So that's the base. I'm going to sew it all down and I'll be back. Okay, so I may have been a bit, what's the word? Ambitious and <laughs> doing a peacock. Struggling slightly, guys, but I'm determined to make some sort of peacock. Now, I am going to use these amazing embroidery threads that I got from the car boot a couple of weeks ago before I went away and I'm thinking of some of these blues I've got some purple that I want to put on I'm, I'm basically just going to stitch this down that's my peacock head and that's his tail obviously and what I thought I might put him lower down actually is I would make just eyes on there. So I was looking to see if maybe some of this for like just down the bottom. And I was looking for some purple. I'm not sure there's any purple. There's some lovely dark blue. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe I've got some. Oh no, there's some purple. Honestly, how lucky was I finding these? So excited. So I'm going to go with those sort of colours, maybe a couple more. And I'm going to cut some circles out of this fabric. Just little tiny circles because, see, those look like little eyes. So my plan, <laughs> as such, as such, isn't really a plan. It's just a let's use what I've got and see what I can make plan. See, these, I think, would make really cute little eyes. So I'm going to, I may cut them, I may cut that off and try and shape them a little bit more into a, like a circle, maybe. <laughs> How I'm going to stitch these down, I don't know. But this is my plan, is to put some of them on and just stitch them down with a knot of these colours. That's my plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go thread some needles, cut these up, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. I've also found some sequins that I might put on as well. So I've cut out my little circles, got my threads, and the first thing I'm going to do is just stitch the sort of tail on. Uh, just going to go for it. Just go for it. Because, you know, <laughs> running out of time to get this finished in May. And I'm just going to do, what, what do they call it? An over stitch. I've separated this thread into um, three. I quite like working with three strands. I'm going to go all the way around there. Now, if anybody wants to know the colours that I'm using, um, I've, they do have numbers. So these are the numbers. I'll put them here for a minute so that you can see. Um, but those are the colours I'm actually using on this. OK. Just in case anybody wanted to know, because I have been asked. And usually I don't know because I've lost that little little paper thing from around the outside because I usually take <laughs> I usually get the thing stuck and then I can't I have to take the paper off so I'm going to stitch around that and be right back right so let's get on with this I have sewn on my my sort of tail 
I've partly sewn on this, but what I want to do is obviously make his beak out of some black or and a, and a put his eye on. So I haven't actually stitched that down because I think it will probably have enough stitches in it. Lovely sort of contrasting colour. And my plan is to just sort of put these on, just random. I might just sort of pop them as if they're in that coil there. And I thought I might do a bit of, what's that stitch I can't do? The, um. oh my goodness me, satin stitch. That's the one. I'm not very good at that. So I thought I'd have a bit of a practice on that to make this stay down so I shall do this and then fill in sort of the centre of this I have no idea if this is going to work <laughs> I'm just I'm just having a play and I'm going to see what happens I could tie that off because otherwise I'm going to have cotton everywhere. So I'm going to give you a little... I've, I've again got like three strands of embroidery thread. So we're going to get a different colour, which I'm going to do the blue again because I just think this blue is quite nice. I was thinking about doing some, like, you know, the... But, oh, that's just going to take so long. <laughs> so long. Uh, just. So I'm going to put a knot in the centre. like Because they do look like little eyes, don't they? So a little knot in there. Get out. Maybe a bit bigger. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to carry on and do some more of those, but I thought I want to have a little go at sort of making his face. Okay, right. <laughs> I found these pens. Do you remember these came with the embroidery thread? So I'm thinking that I can use them to draw on here. Now, I've had a quick look at a photo on my phone of a peacock and... I've now got to put it away because I'm videoing on my phone. But he did have, oh, that's not working. Oh, it is. Some tufts coming out the top. So I'm going to draw some like that. And I'm going to do pistol stitches up there. And then his eye was sort of here. If I can make this work. I don't want to do it too much. And then he had like a bit round the outside. Just going to give myself some guidelines. And obviously his beak was, was sort of there. Let's do, let's do these ones at the top because that's going to be the easiest bit. <laughs> so if I can remember how to do the pistol stitches, you go up. Do your knot. And then go down where you want your... Where you want your knot to go. Hopefully I've got that right. It's resembling a peacock. That's my plan. As long as it looks something like a peacock, I'm happy. Okay. So I go up to where I put my line. And then put my point down. And through. Try not to catch on everything on my way through. Tangle it up, obviously. <laughs> and there we go. Well, that's working quite well. Quite happy with that. Tufts could probably be bigger. I might do another colour. I might put them closer together, maybe. And just do a little knot. I didn't do that last time. Just to sort of keep it. Okay. 
safe. Up. I'm doing like round four times. I could probably just use like thicker or more strands of thread. Would have probably been easier. But there you go. You live and learn, and what's all about the learning? I might do some more on purple. I'm quite liking the purple. Bit of a bit of a different than the blue. It's all very blue. Right, now, I've made my shape of my eye and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a back stitch around where I think the shape of the eye should be. Um, so, yeah, I'll go down. Just get started. And then come back up. That might do a bit of a, a split stitch because I think... That might look, oops, if I can get in the right place. This might be quite painful to watch. Right. It's so much easier on a hoop, wouldn't it? And then come up. Just sort of following my vague outline. I can see why people draw lines. You know, like where their where their things are gonna go because it does sort of help. You don't sort of get sidetracked doing something else. Okay, right, we're at the top. And a little tiny bit. And then we'll come down the other side. I'm loving that. I think I may need to do like a bit more around it, but I think it might be a different colour. Just doing all the colours. Just doing all the colours. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around again with, with this blue. Same stitch. And I think I will do this without you because you've seen me do it. And I'm going to go around and then I'm just going to do... I'm going to get my googly eye and see what it looks like. Because I think it'd be funny. And we'll have a look. Or... I've also got these sequins that I got out and I've forgotten about. Not sure if they're going to go. But we might have a we might put a couple of them on just because. Just because. So I will see you in a little while when I finish doing that and then I'll finish the beak off. All I'm going to do is just do some stitches just to hold that down in black and then I'm going to get some more of this one to go just finish it off. I think Put the rest of these on randomly and we'll see how it's looking. Okay, I'm nearly there. <laughs> Look how cute that's turning out. Super happy. My eye has turned out pretty good. Um, I'm going to do a sewn eye ball because I can't find my googly eyes. And I thought it would be really cute, but I'm not convinced now. So I'm going to do another knot. And see what happens. Okay. Whether the, what's happened the other side, I do not know. So I quite like that. So I'm just going to tie that off. And then the only thing I still want to do, I think, is put on some of these. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing up here yet, but I'm just quite happy that I've got this ready and done. Oh no, I've got to do his beak. That was the other thing I was going to do first. So I've got the same black that I've just used for his eye. And I'm just going to stitch, sort of, hopefully. Let's start at the top because it's it's a bit easier. And how am I going to do it? 
quite long stitches maybe. Not quite sure how this is going to work, but we're going to go maybe back stitch. Okay, let's have a look and see. I don't really know how to sew these on. Hmm. Uh-oh, I'm onto the fiddly stuff again. Now, I don't know whether I like this colour. It is the only colour of sequin that's... I've got, like, pinks and glitters, but I don't know if that will work. And I think what you have to do is a couple of stitches down the sides. Is that right? Maybe... I don't know, I'm just guessing. Should have looked at a video on how to sew on sequins. Right, let's put a few on because I can always take them back off if I don't like it. Okay. Now, I know that probably I should come up the middle. But it's really hard to find the middle of the hole <laughs> on the back. So, I'm going to come up at the side. Like on the edge. And then go back down the centre. It's a lot easier to find the hole. Okay. I've got to see what it looks like when I put some more on. I can't tell yet. Um, right, so I just wanted to show you where I've got up to and I've had an interloper, haven't I? Yes. I know. You've missed me, haven't you? <laughs> so this is where we are. I'm quite chuffed with how the eye has turned out. The beak mm, is all right. You know, I, I can see that it's supposed to be a peacock, so... You know, that's the aim of the game. Um, yeah, tell me what you think about the sequins. Do I need more? Do they look awful? I don't know. I quite like my little eyes. I might do some more. And I've got to do something on the top. So when I, well, I'm, I'm nearly caught up. Hopefully by next week I will have finished it and be ready for June. Okay, so... As normal, I'd like to say thank you to Sarah and to Rachel for this amazing collaboration challenge. It's really, it's really pushing my limits. And I'm glad I challenged myself to do the peacock. So head over um, to their channels and to the Facebook group and all that stuff. Okay, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.